Good evening. Imagine finding out your personal information about your trip to the doctor is now in the hands of a stranger. That is exactly what has happened to a dozen people in the capital region. The Vancouver Island Health Authority confirms that it accidentally mailed out more than 10 patients' information to another patient's house. Viha has apologized and asked for the envelope back, but the recipient said no. Now the documents have found their way into the hands of the NDP, and the opposition is demanding there be an investigation. Our Andrew Johnson begins with the latest. Um, in this envelope sent by the Vancouver Island Health Authority, health records of 10 people were mailed out. Human error. That's how the Vancouver Island Health Authority explains this envelope containing confidential information about a dozen people. The healthcare system, which is a human system, um, breaches of privacy do occur. And when they do occur, every step is taken to try to rectify the problem as quickly as possible. Viha says it discovered on Tuesday the envelope was mailed from its Royal Oak Health Unit to the home of a patient. The health authority says it apologized to the recipient and twice tried to pick up the envelope from the senior's home. The lady refused to hand over the documentation at that point. Now the records are in the hands of NDP Health Services critic Adrian Dix. It seems the patient who received them in the mail began calling the other people whose records were inside the envelope, including 91 year old Catherine McLaren. I was just shocked when my son phoned me on, I guess it was Friday, to say that these records were out on the loose. Dick says he's going to march the health records right into the office of the Privacy Commissioner here on Fort Street and urge the Commissioner to launch an investigation into a violation of the Freedom of Information and Protection of Privacy Act. Mr. Fraser will then have, uh, have uh, ownership of the files and presumably will may, may uh, according to his judgment, return them to the Vancouver Island Health Authority. Viha says it can't even call the affected patients because it doesn't know whose info is in the envelope and says turning over the forms to a politician was the wrong move. Once you have information or, or um, physical items in your possession that you don't own, that you've told other people that you have, um, and they ask for it back, you have an obligation to hand it back. That somebody wants to try to make it a political issue um, to us is very disturbing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Dix says Viha doesn't respect its patients' privacy and Catherine McLaren wants an apology. The health authority says it is considering legal action to get its hands on the envelope and do exactly what Adrian Dix wants it to do, protect its clients. Andrew Johnson joins us now with more and since we first brought you the story at five there have been further developments. Andrew you just got off the phone with the health authority. What's the latest? I did Hudson. Uh, Suzanne Germain from VHA has confirmed the confidential documents have been received by the privacy commissioner's office. She says VHA will be able to pick them up in the morning and begin notifying patients of the error involving their privacy which Germain says could have been done two days ago had the patient who received them given them up when asked. VHA does still need to confirm with anyone who came into contact with the records that no one made any copies. All right. Andrew Johnson reporting. Andrew, thank you. You're welcome.